Hello everyone and that sound was a mob because this is the mob part of the RPG mod. Alright, so let's just start. We just start with your regular mobs and we start off with a bunny. And the bunny <coughs> looks like this. It's really cute. But it can be dangerous. And uh let's see that. So let's get this one, and this is a angry bunny. So when you hit a normal bunny, it will turn into an angry bunny and it look like this, and it's pretty dangerous. So this one shouldn't be here because the cage crawler should be here. So please get that fuck out. All right. So the cage crawler looks the same, but this is the cave version of the other version. And uh, let's, let me just put my sound down. Like six percent. Better, better, better. All right. So this is the cave lobs, and uh, it looks awesome. It just got one eye, and you doesn't actually need any armor for this, uh, because with. Uh, let me see. Um, so I, I've got some some info right in front of me because. I don't really know all the mobs yet. I try to learn them. But I right, so it isn't really that strong, but uh, it. So you don't really actually need armor for to fight this one, but like ten arrows should kill him. But yeah, I love this mob. It's pretty big, and uh, that's what she said. Right, let's move on to the next one. So this is a crab. And uh, oh, let me just put this back so I order everything. Right, so there's a crab, and a crab is nothing really special, but it's it uh, when you kill it, it gives quite a lot of XP. So it's nice to get some XP. You make an XP farm with it. It should be uh, you get, will get some uh, get a lot of XP, and I will spawn on beaches because. No, they aren't there right now. But they maybe in daylight they will be there. Maybe so maybe we will see them later in this video. Alright, the next mob is the Cyclops. And this is an even bigger looks like a giant version of the uh, cave lobs. So it's even more awesome, I think. And uh, they spawn really much in the world. So you will probably see these a lot. Right, next mob. Ah, oh, damn, let me just put this back, I'm sorry. Right, this is the Draphite Cadillion. And this is actually just a unicorn, and you've got different versions of that. You've got like an uh, orange version and a uh, leaf red. So, you in different uh, dimensions, you will have different unicorns. Right, so next one, and this is the Ender Triplets. So this one can fly, so it's pretty hard to uh, to defeat him. And it can fire long range with this. It can fire on a long range with this fireball. So you should really watch out for it. it just looks like a uh, how do you call it in the end in the Nether. This big white thing. I don't really know how it's called again. So, but they will spawn in the Ender. So. Yeah, you do not only need to defeat the Ender Dragon, you also de need to defeat some other mobs. So you also got the Ender Watcher, and that looks just little and easy to defeat, but they will spawn a lot in the Ender, and they actually are kind of friendly, but they so they won't attack you unless you attack it them, and they will. Uh, attack you but they can also teleport just like an enderman and they will just when you look at it and they will just spawn behind you like just like that so don't hit it all right the other one it's an ethrald drama drum critics if i pronounce it right it looks like a giant dinosaur and uh yeah let me just see what it can do too 
And uh, this one can actually spawn in full light, so yeah, I got. You know, I've got the roof, but actually, this can actually just spawn over here. And you see some other mo awesome mobs just spawn around here. Yeah, that's, those are just really awesome. I just love them. Alright, the frost mob is like a. Come on, look at me. Right, so it looks like the uh, O from. What's that? Looks like the O from uh, Pokemon, if you know it. You know the letters, I don't really know how the Pokemon is called. But it looks like an O. So we have different letters in Pokemon. And it can fly, and uh, it shoots things. It shoots snowflakes, I believe it is. Oh, fireballs. Alright, that's weird. Hey, I'm sorry, sir, just we can walk. That was an oh yeah, arid warrior. Alright, please stop firing fireballs. Alright, we have now we have the Glacon. And uh, this is makes a one get out. Come at me, bro. So it makes like a whisper noise of sometimes and it's pretty annoying if you got your headset on the volume on the highest highest it can go and Minecraft also. You'll probably get that. Alright, so this is the hell pick. And uh yeah, it just looks like a normal pick, but this is this is the one from hell. So it's evil. But uh, it just can do any damage I believe. It's still quite a normal pick. Right, now we've got the Hell Spider. And the Hell Spider Oh yep. The health bar is never alone, almost never alone, and it, uh, it you can see them in packs from two to four. But now I just spawned one. But normally we'll just see two or four, and they uh, can also spit fire from a far range if they cannot attack you normally. And uh, so that makes the the uh, case of the uh, health spider pretty dangerous. Let's just put this. this right now we got the Jacko Man, and I think this is my favorite mob. Because it just looks awesome. It's just a pumpkin man with a uh, hoe. Well, not really hoe. I don't really know how it's called. And it looks like a skeleton with some flesh on its arms. And with the texture, it looks like it's broken, but it isn't. It just should look like this. Right, now we've got the jungle dama drum tricks. So it's a little smaller than the other one. As you can see, it's green. So you can only find them in jungles, and uh, and it's a hostile mob actually, so it's quite dangerous, and you should try to avoid these because in like three shots with diamond armor they will be able to kill you. So yeah. All right, now we've got the jungle spider. So it's a totally green spider with blue eyes, and the spider is one of the two mobs that can uh, create a large hazard in the jungle. They are able to move quickly and poison a player. Uh, jungle spiders may consider a much harder version of the cave, cave spider, and uh, it's you it's highly recommended to travel in jungles with caution. So. Now we've got the king crab, and this is just a bigger version of the crab. It's like four or five times bigger, and it's also much dangerous than the normal crab uh, because it has a higher range with its melee attack. It's recommended that uh, you will use ranged weapon like arrows or a bow, uh, but a vanilla bow, just like the, the normal bow from Vanilla Minecraft, is too weak for it. So you should actually make a bow from the from this mod. Right, so now we've got a moon wolf, I believe. Yes, it's a moon wolf. And the moon wolf only spawns in Asherite forests, and they are natural mobs. So they won't attack you unless you attack them. They can be tamed with bones just like a regular wolf can. So it's just a normal wolf, but from another biome. Or another dimension, actually. Now we've got the Rota Thick. And uh, this also makes a pretty annoying sound. It looks awesome, though. It looks awesome. And it's a mob which spawns on the ground in a normal world and it drops diamonds, so let's just kill it. Let's just kill it. 
Yep, so drop diamonds. So easy way to get diamonds. And uh spawns a gay. So when you look for diamonds and you see the mob, just kill it and you will get diamonds. Right now we've got the uh scorcher. And this one also looks pretty awesome. It looks about like about like a derp. Look at its eyes. Derp. So yeah, but the scorcher are much more powerful than the version of Blaze. Blazes and that spawn all over the nether. So these spawn all over the nether just like the blaze. They shoot fireballs non-stop. So you will need pretty good armor like netherite armor or drop fight armor. Or anything better than that. Alright, let's put this back. And then get this one. Because you know also have sharks and I actually need to go down there. So I'll just close this. So it won't escape. It can't escape, but still. So I gave the little water because I'm not really that bad of a person. And the sharks can be found in ocean biomes, of course. And they are fairly common in day at daytime. And they are the color of sand. And it looks like it's like grey, but on the water it looks a bit bit like the color of sand. So that's camouflaging them. They are half a block tall and approximately like one and a half block long. They they are uh, they can't attack you because there's a little glitch or something. Hopefully that will be fixed, so you will also be able to get killed on the water. So they but if one of glitch is uh, gone, they won't attack you unless you actually attack them. Right. So these sharks drop shark fins, and they are required to make a so shark sword. Right, next mob. So, this is the eye. And it just looks like a Marslander. And it also got like the Mars colors. So, this these could use. Uh, NASA could use them for. Uh, to send to Jupiter or something. Wow, well, looks awesome. And this mob spawns on the ground. And when it attacks, it gives blindness for 4 seconds, so you won't see anything. The blindness counter will stay at 4 seconds until the eye is dead, or it has uh, accrued into another player. It drops rupee ingots and a full stack of torches. Right, now we've got the another awesome mob, I like it. The Undead Miner. So it's like a zombie, with a uh, like an Eskimo zombie, with a diamond pickaxe. And uh, undead miners are mobs that will spawn just like zombies, and they are more powerful than the version of these zombies, but not as common, so you won't find them that much. But it's just spawn in the normal world, and they just got a jacket on and a pants. Right now we've got the whale. Let me just get through. So the whale is just a bigger version of the shark, and it also makes like whale sounds. <laughs> Alright, not again. Not anymore. We just. Like that. And, uh. So, the whale is a peaceful mob that will ruin in the ocean of, ocean of Minecraft. When killed, they drop whale fin, which can be used to create the bowhead archer. So, these were the regular mobs. Actually, these were all the ones with a egg. With an egg. So, the egg. No, the egg I could find over here. Here somewhere. No, somewhere right here. So all these eggs I could that I could find over here. All right. So now let's get to the bosses. A really awesome part of it. But first, I will just tell you which mobs are left that got no egg, you know, so I couldn't spawn them. That are the Alicanto and these are extremely fast based mob in Isika, it's in Dimension. And uh, this mob actually kept Captain Sparkles, if you know him from uh, my, he also plays Minecraft, if you know him, I don't, I know you know him. From get his stuff back after uh, he get wrecked by the Frost Archer. And uh, so he needs to reload the save, so it's a pretty dangerous mob. We also got a dead hound, and this mob is found in the dungeon of Arcana, and it attack and, and will attack you and also give you blindness and poison you. And we got the Ender Spider, and this mob can of course can be found in the Ender. 
and they are smaller than cave spiders and have the same properties as an enderman so they can just uh, teleport and they have a strong attack and will kill the player in a few ways with full diamond armor and they of course come from the end and I just already said it Right now we also got the frost archer and these enemies shoot arrows at a very high rate so actually very high yeah. if you go to the look at the video which I show the different dimensions uh, you will see one and it shoots very rapidly really really fast also got the rainbow and uh, this is a mob that will spawn in low levels on the ground and can drop healing stones and but they are very strong and often spawn in pairs so you need to kill you need to defeat them both and uh, but it won't kill you unless you attack it all right and we also got the glassite the classic, we know how to pronounce it, and it's longer, stronger, faster, and still a hostile version of the Glacken. Glacken, you guys saw it uh, before, a couple of mobs before, and uh, this is found in the overworld, uh, and it spawns in dungeon like structures found on the ground in the Isaacar dimension. Right, and we got the Rolem, and this, I also saw that in, uh, in the dimensions video. And the yeah, Rolem is a dark blue golem that spawns in Isaka and when killed it drops white mushroom with frozen shards and Rolems have 200 HP and HP is health points for you guys who don't know this. So those were the mobs that do not have an egg, I don't really know why. So I can't show that. But now we've got the bosses, the awesome, the most awesome mobs. So first. We've got the ancient boss, the ancient entity. And uh, as you see, when I spawn a boss, the, my, my screen gets a little bit darker. You know, a little bit like. Dun, 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 those things. But I gave it <laughs> to. And, and, you know, the, it, uh, its little house is too small. And uh, yeah, it looks cool. It's really big. Really strong, uh, too. But yeah, it's pretty awesome mob, and it's the first Divine RPG boss that the uh, that you should fight. His melee attack has a long range. Upon that, he drops three to six Divine shards, and you need those to make a Divine portal. And there's also a chance of dropping a Sand Slash. That's a sword with a high damage but a low durability. Right, next boss. So this one is the Car OT. And it's a pretty annoying one because it spawns a lot of angry bunnies. But it looks, looks awesome. So the Karot is a massive angry bunny. And it also spawns little angry bunnies. And uh, yeah, so well, it's attacked. Or let's see now I, on top of my screen you see Karot, you see his life bar. And um, so now actually I'm in a fight with him. And even I even didn't touch him. Right. So we also got the king of the the uh, scorchers, and I uh, this mob looks really awesome. It's like uh, seven mobs in one, and the king of scorchers is one of the toughest bosses in the game. He shoots flaming arrows that almost instantly kill you. He can be summoned with the infernal flame and can only be spawned in the nether. Do not attempt to fight without. Um, with uh, with when you've never gone to the Agai depths, because you can find some pretty good armor. You can make pretty good armor actually, down there. All right. Now we've got the Fema Curran. Right, Fema Curran. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fema Curran. Right, so this is like a two-handed unicorn, and it's actually just two-handed Argite Cadillion, and it's a high running speed and strength. So these were the bosses, and uh, actually got one boss left, the Watcher. And you've got a Watcher, you know, you can call the Watcher, but it just won't re respond. So if I type Watcher, you got this thing, call it the Watcher. 
He's already Ender Watcher. And this is, oh, now I can spawn it. That's weird. I couldn't spawn it before. Right. So this is a Watcher. And uh, it's awesome. It has awesome sound effects. So the Watcher is one of the f two first bosses you need to. Uh, uh, encounter before being able to enter the new dimension it's spawning by right clicking uh, right clicking the ground with the call of the watcher it's this but at first it just won't come I think it was asleep or something and it's much like a guess that it because it shoots explosive fast moving purple fireballs at players and uh, it's one of the two nether bosses in divine RPG and uh, the other being the King of Scorchers, and that's that's one. And bosses, both bosses are spawned only in the Nether. It drops the fine shards, blue firestone, and 100 Netherite ingots. Just like other bosses do, to its enormous size, you can spawn one in a one by two uh, corridor, and he will be he will be disabled then. You can simply walk inside and the hall and hit him with a sword. But uh, this exploit was. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's something different. So, yeah. If you just trap him in a little. little hall and it just. gone away. Alright, come back, you bitch. Come back. Nah, I think it's flow. It flew away. So, these were the mobs and the bosses. No, we just uh, glitched out. Right. So these were the mobs and the bosses, and a lot of them just disappeared. So thank you guys for watching, and you're now able to click on a different video. Bye.